reside at 1269 Bell Hill Place. My husband and I have been in DuPont for 10 years. And uh, our church has been in DuPont for eight years. Uh, just, just pause just for a moment, Pastor Denise. Uh, City Clerk, can you please turn up the volume on our mic? Thank you. <laughs> You'd think as a pastor I'd be able to talk louder. Huh? <laughs> okay. How about lower? Yeah, if you could lower it. <laughs> okay, Perfect. How's that? Is that better? Thanks, Mr. Zahn. Okay. Uh, DBCC appreciates the attempt of the city of DuPont to maintain a clean-looking city by limiting sign postings, and we have always sought out information from the city regarding our signage. Uh, in the past, when we approached the city regarding A-frame signage for us, we were told that we did not need a permit and that we could post our signs as long as we removed them immediately following our church service. So our signs were usually only posted about 24 hours, and we have been doing that for about eight years. Uh, because of the recent email that our church did receive, we went back to the city of DuPont to see if, if these accusations of our signs not being legal were true. Again, we were told we did not need to remove our signs. So that may show you that, uh, Councillor Graham, that there is um, some confusion in the sign ordinance. Um, about two weeks later, uh, we uh, um, attended the DuPont Business Association meeting and that appeared that our signs were not in compliance any longer as we heard information from that meeting. And um, in order that we did not want to be perceived as a non-compliant business, Within the city ordinance, we stopped putting out our signs following that meeting. Just this past weekend, though, as I was driving around, I noticed that signs again were being posted on, on the weekends and by businesses and churches alike, minus ours. And I was expecting the city would probably go around and collect those signs because we, at the business meeting, they told that there would be a, a sign sweep. So we, I was assuming that those signs would be removed even over the weekend, but that turned out not to be the case. And in fact, none of, uh, some of the signs were not removed until Monday when I was actually going to work and I noticed that the uh, quadrant signs were now missing. My concern is that the sign policy is definitely not supportive of, of business, or small business for that matter, and because, especially for us small businesses who uh, rent area and other places where we can't put up a sign on the building, that the building does not belong to us. So we have no way to let people know where we're at. For example, Ferrelli's in Viva Mexico have a sign on their building and most people will now know where they're at. They're downtown, they're very prominent. Churches often have to be renting areas in schools and we have no way to say, put a sign on that school that says, oh, by the way, this church meets here. And of course, schools are usually off the beaten path, so you have to use directional signs to get people to, to actually find you. And in fact, uh, some of our church attendance is because of those signs that are posted. People who attend our church will often say, we found you because of your sign. We have tried advertising, as was one suggestion when we received the email. Advertising is very costly, and most churches run on a donation-only budget. And um, mailing and printing and posting or getting that kind of signage out there is very expensive for a church. Pastor Denise, we're going to ask you to please wrap up. Okay, I sure will. So I do appreciate the sign ordinance, and I would just ask that the city do revisit that sign ordinance and see if they can make something that is very workable and compliant for all of the businesses. And, the, and DuPont Village's Community Church does want the city council and our residents to know that we will follow the direction of any sign ordinance which is established by the city, and even the current one, and that, of course, um, we will not be posting our signs until that ordinance is clarified. Thank you very much. And then I saw her face.